Hello everybody. This is Sayyad Musa Kalim from Epicop and today I am going to share one interesting topic with you and that is page.rest API. Yeah, it is a awesome API and if you love scraping then definitely you would love this API because it allows you to extract content from any web page as JSON and it is just only for five dollars and it's it is uh, its validity period is for one year you can buy this API on this page and that is page dot rest it's generally a, an HTTP API and you can extract content as I said earlier and you can get any uh, attributes like title description and even it allows you to scrape open graph content and embedded content as well so this is a beautiful API so I'm gonna show you how you can use it to scrape any web page so let's get started this is the page.rest main uh, home page you can visit this page and you can follow the instructions to use this API and if you if you want to buy this API then you can use this link and access token if you open this then definitely you need, to, you need to fill this form and your credit card number and you can get your access token it is as I said earlier it is one time fee of five dollars and it is valid for one year and let me tell you you can call one lakh uh, you can make one lakh calls per day to scrape any web page or you can scrape any uh, n number of web pages but you can only make one lakh calls per day so this is a limitation of this API so we'll see how we can use this in this video so this is my website my company website which I am working as a uh, web developer that is plugmatter.com and we create plugins WordPress plugins and uh, we also give 24 into 7 WordPress support as well so this is uh, the website of my company you can visit this if you need any WordPress support so I'm gonna scrape this website and I'm gonna show you show you how you can use page rest API using this website and also let me show you the support team we are 13 members and you can see here these two are co-founders of my company Nemat and Akram and here you can see my photo Musa developer so this is my photo on the WordPress support page we as I said earlier we are 13 we have a team of 13 these two are managers so let's scrape this uh, home page first and we'll see how we can scrape using the basic method the first one is the basic method you can uh, request a basic call to that website and you can extract title description logo fav icons and canonical URL as well so let's give the URL here let's paste it here and let's uh, let me explain you this code uh, you need to add your token here after getting an access token you need to add in this variable and you need to pass inside the token attribute as you can see here page.rest fetch token equals to token and URL equals to URL this is a query simple query which you need to use in order to uh, in order to extract content from any web page so let's run this and let's see the output here output here on the right side as you can see here title is plug matter home when we hover on this page as you can see plug matter home is the title description is null canonical URL and the status is 200 we got uh, every information it's just a basic default request from page rest api let's see some more advanced queries in order to uh, in order to scrape some content like i'll show you here we'll see we'll see the content of this button we'll scrape this we'll scrape the content of this button let's click and inspect this button and let's use this class let's use this class call home cta buttons let's copy this class and give it inside the selector right you have to give your token here 
your URL and your query page rest API fetch token and URL in inside selectors you need to give your class or ID you could also give ID, uh, ID attribute as well and I am in my case I am taking class so let's hit dot and paste that class and let's change the URL as well that is plugmatter.com let's paste it here and let's see the content of that button this button get opt-in feature box plugin let's run this yeah you can see here the title description and inside the selectors as we have selected home CTA buttons we can see the text get opt-in feature box plugin which is this button and also we can see the href of this button feature box as you can see here right and the class as well so this is just a simple JSON which we get as an output from this URL and using this selector so this is just a selector query you can use uh, any selector like it is also mentioned here that it is a documentation from Mozilla you can learn more about CSS selectors in this documentation uh, class IDs and also we can give uh, attributes as well like if you have href attribute inside your anchor tag then you could use that right and even if you have some more uh, HTML attributes then you can use that attributes easily to scrape the content of that particular HTML element right simple selectors attribute pseudo classes pseudo elements as well combinators and even you can use multiple selectors as well so let's use the multiple selector here we have view uh, we have seen how we can use only one selector now we'll see we can you how we can use multiple selectors let's give and equals and selector equals to let's uh, see some other thing like this or uh, we can use this button get pricing table right when we inspect this element no it is also same class uh, we can use this contact support right real green CTA buttons right so let's use this class as a multiple selector in our case let's hit run and we'll see contact support text get pricing table yeah you can see here contact support inside our JSON output and href is support and even we can see real green CTA buttons as our class which we have given inside our selector so even also we can scrape the style as well as you can see here margin top is 10 pixels uh, let's see the next part of this API that is pre-render content uh, I'm gonna use another URL for this pre-render content it generally extract content from pages that render on client site using JavaScript as you can see here it pre-renders the content of a web page which is getting rendered on client site using JavaScript let's see the example of this page I have another website open on my browser here that is seismic.com which is also owned by my company that is plug matter we have another website that is seismic we'll paste it here and we'll see the pre-render content all you need to do is you need to write the same query and also you need to pass pre-render equals to one means you are telling that you are going to pre-render the content of that page that then definitely you need to pass it as one so let's hit run and we'll see the output as a JSON on the right side box it is taking much time Uh, next we'll see the embedded embedded content uh, embedded content as well uh, I think it is taking more time 
let's hit uh, let's use this URL as well the default URL which is given inside the uh, yeah you can see here title description canonical URL selected listing title it is m it is an empty array let's use this tesla.com URL slash careers slash departments so we'll use this URL and run to see the pre-render content of this web page it is taking much time I don't know why yeah it is running now the we got the uh, JSON response search for jobs in Tesla is the title description is given uh, is also given here as you can see here we have a lot of JSON response a big JSON response in that case we got a listing title as uh, as an empty array because listing title is not there on seismic lab so uh, I did something wrong here while using seismic.com URL so anyhow we got JSON response this is a pre-render content which you can give which you can get by passing pre-render equals to one you can know more about pre-render content on this uh, page rest API documentation let's move to the embedded content yeah uh, if you need to use if you want to use embedded content from any page then you need to pass embed equals to one as we are doing pre-render equals to one inside the pre-render content section so all you need to do is you need to pass uh, your query page rest API query fetch and you need to pass embed equals to one you need to give embed equals to one this is a YouTube URL when we open this we'll see one video we'll see this first as you can see here this is an this is a video right so we'll close this what we are doing here is we'll ju we are using embed equals to one and we are getting all the response as in a JSON format title description and even the URL canonical URL as well and also we are getting icons logos everything we are getting and even you can see here the embed embedded attribute we are getting an iframe which we can use it in any HTML page to get that video on our page so this is the use of embed embedded content in page rest api you can easily get an iframe tag uh, from embedded content of any video so this is all about embedded content let's move to the open graph so it is given here uh, new york times technology we'll use another url to understand about open graph and if you need to know more if you want to know more about open graph then you can visit this url that is ogp.me it enables any web page to become a rich object in social graph so you can explore this web page to know more about open graph so in this video I'm not going to show you about open graph let's use this BBC website for open graph we'll use this URL and we'll see how we can use the, how we can scrape uh, this URL using open graph method let's hit run you need to pass OG equals to 1 for open graph remember this right we are getting everything Spain expected to impose direct direct rule right we are getting this URL and to remove Catalan powers here we can see yeah Spain expected to remove Catalan power this is a text which we are getting here inside our title and the description the description the Spanish cabinet we are getting everything and also we are getting canonical URL as well right so this is the use of open graph now let's see the response headers 
response headers means you can pa uh, you can get any http headers defined in the response in this case in this example it is given here that it is using github url to get http headers defined in the response all you need to do is you need to pass header equals to x frame options and header equals to x xss x uh, cross site scripting production and the content security policy these three headers you need to pass inside your query to get any http headers of any web page in this case it is using it is given here github github web page github home page so we are getting uh, as a response and even we are getting headers part as well x frame options x access protection con content security policy so using this way you can uh, use this page rest api to scrape any web page and it is only just for five dollars and it is valid for one year so go ahead and buy this beautiful and wonderful api to scrape any web page hope it is clear so far and i hope you understand about this api please visit this documentation to understand more about pagerest api and also you can get some css selectors documentation as well so thank you for watching this video please like and share my videos subscribe to my channel thanks again for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video